Hey guys, it's Spider Pig, and uh, today we're going to be looking at Normandy. And right now it is 10.32 a.m. on Saturday, about 24 hours after Normandy came out. And if you look at my screen, you'll notice I'm missing a lot of modules. And that's because I literally uh, had to reinstall this thing like twice uh, just to get this thing to work. So uh, let's just start flying and I'll tell you all about it. Uh, I set the wallpaper Normandy and I have it selected Normandy right now. And I'm going to just do a quick explore mission. I know most of these uh, fields are, are grass and dirt because this is World War II. Um, so we'll have to, have to kind of take a look around and see what's there and uh, take a look, you know, to see what's available, what's not. We'll just go flying and talk, basically. Uh, I'm also interested in my frames per second. Uh, I have kind of everything set right now. Uh, like, I like it. Uh, actually, um, there you go. Check my eyes, freaking. Um, First impressions is it's freaking bright, and I noticed people said that on the uh, on the forum. Let me see if I can, get, yeah, let me see if I can get my headset. There we go. Uh, not helping much. Let me get my frame rate on. All right, so right now I'm doing about 50. All right, so let's take off and we'll start talking here. All right. uh, it's been a while since I've flown a gazelle, so excuse me if I don't fly very well. Uh, I. I haven't been in the cockpit in about four months, and the reason for that is my foot. And uh, so, uh, I'm back in the cockpit now a little better. My, I've been in physical therapy for now for about two months, and I'm getting a lot better. So, I see there's a city down there, I want to kind of fly towards it. Um, so, what happened yesterday mm -hmm. is, I haven't flown a long time, and I knew Normandy was coming up. Uh, what I wanted to do was I wanted to kind of have the, uh, the sim ready. So what I did was I basically went in and updated all my DCS. I updated the one, I updated the, uh, the two, and I updated open beta um, before yesterday. And this is a weird glare on these things. Um, pretty much nothing out here. So anyways, yesterday comes around, it's out and available. Um, people, there was like a little hack to get it, uh, basically to kick the update up and, you know, using the command line, and I did that. So, two upgraded to whatever it was supposed to get upgraded to, like 2.1, I believe is the new version. When I ran it, I noticed it was opening 1.56. I'm like, well, this isn't right. I did repair using the command line. I did a whole bunch of things. Nothing seemed to be fixing it. Um... So I'm like, all right, well, let me just uninstall and reinstall uh, 2.0. And I did that. So that's like four hours right there. Uh, I downloaded Nevada. I downloaded all the modules uh, and everything. And that took a long, long time. So after all that, I go back into 2.0, which is now 2.0. And I set everything up. Uh, and then, you know, I noticed that Normandy wasn't available as an option, nor was the World War II pack. I'm like, okay, uh, I know I bought it. I pre-ordered it a long time ago. So what I did was I went online and looked, and again, there's an inst install command to kind of get it to work. So I did that, installed the World War II asset pack, I installed the uh, Normandy map. I went back in, I went to try to fly, and it would just freeze on the flying window. If I try to go to the mission editor, it would freeze. And I looked at the logs and I noticed like all these different things that would freeze. Like normally if you look at a log and it's moving, things are still happening. But it wasn't moving, it was actually frozen. Uh, so what I did was I kind of uh, tried different things. I, I noticed it, it said there was a shading error and I thought, okay, well, let me just make everything the lowest graphics. And uh, that's what I did. And uh, it didn't, it still got the same error. And I went online and a lot of people were having the same issue. So uh, I tried repairing again, repair did nothing. Uh, I tried removing Normandy and Nevada and then uh, repairing and 
it ended up what I noticed was it was using my open beta to copy from and uh, what ended up happening was when I opened it up after it said it was done repairing it went back to 1.56 I'm like okay this is definitely something very odd here so what I did was again I uninstalled everything and then I reinstalled everything and this was last night around midnight so I went to bed and uh, this morning when I got up I installed um, just Nevada and the Gazelle that's all I installed for right now and um, I just wanted to make sure it was working so once I knew Nevada and the Gazelle were working uh, and by the way, I did delete my open beta because I figured it was, if it was going to use the open beta, uh, it might be getting weird files. So I didn't want to use that. I'm just looking at my frame rate down here. I'm getting like 40. Depending where I look. Okay, so got rid of open beta, reinstalled uh, Alpha uh, 2.0. All installed the Vada, all installed the Gazelle. Made sure I can get in the Gazelle cockpit, I can fly. Made sure I can get in the Mission Ender, and I can fly. And that was good. Uh, so then I downloaded the World War II pack, Asset Pack. Made sure I can get into the mission editor, made sure I can find things out. That would work fine. Then I finally downloaded Normandy again, and I was able to get into it. And I'm now here, 24 hours later, flying in Normandy. Uh, this map is a very open map, kind of like there's really nothing here. Uh, I'm kind of, I don't know the major towns here. It looks like I found another airport here. I haven't really looked at the map because I just got it working about 20 minutes ago. Um, but I do know most of these runways are kind of dirt runways. So I don't know how modern aircraft like the F-15 will work around here. Um, I know I, Matt Wagner had a couple of videos of the F-86, I think, flying around here. So I'm sure there probably is some airfield to have concrete runways, um, but we'll take a look here. So these are nice open fields. I like that. Um, and other news. Let me just put the uh, thing back on. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the, that the Polydynamics is going to be working on the. P105 and the Stuka. Um, and I just want to, want to touch on that real quickly. The 105 is going to be an incredible helicopter. Um, I can't say much more than that, but it is a. I, I have the manual, I've been reading the manual. It's a great helicopter. It's very maneuverable compared to Gazelle. Uh, it's got six hot missiles. It's got a very cool firing control system. Um, that's really, really neat. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, what I was really happy to hear was that the Stuka is going to be working on after that. And um, there's, I have some thoughts about the Stuka. So in order to kind of relay those, we kind of have to go to a little bit of history, personal life kind of stuff, history. Um, I'm originally from Israel and my family's from Israel. My family helped, you know, settle in Israel after World War II. Um, my grandparents were both Holocaust survivors, and, you know, my parents were first generation born in Israel, and so we're very kind of, uh, you know, that's, that's where we, we are very proud to be. I moved to the United States in 82, and I've been here ever since. I became a citizen in 1999, and I'm planning here to stay here forever because, uh, you know, this is where I live now, and this is my home. So, World War II itself does not have happy feelings for us. Um, and, you know, uh, when they, they, they said they were going to work on the Stuka, they actually asked me if I was comfortable with working on it. Um, and I, I said, yeah, yeah that's, that's fine. Uh, I've come to respect the Stuka as an aircraft and kind of the innovation that it had. It had a whole bunch of interesting things in it. And, uh, you know, I'm okay working on it. But, um, but it is, you know, it's one of the reasons why I don't really fly too many uh, World War II aircraft. Um, and it's, you know, just, just something, you know, I, I like jets better. I don't like helicopters. That's just me. But I'm looking forward to working on the Stuka. I think the Stuka has some great, um, great innovations in it for the time, like an auto recovery system from a dive bomb and uh, 
just a lot of interesting things. And I, I found some cool little, this looks like a mosque or a church. I don't even know. It looks pretty cool. I'll have to see what this is. So most of my settings are set on high right now. I'm like in 30 up here, which is, yeah, it doesn't seem to be bad. Uh, it's pretty cool looking, whatever this thing is. All right, let's, let's keep going in here. Uh, so that's, that's why I don't normally fly a World War II things and, you know, uh, but just, it's just something about me. Maybe you should know, I don't know. I don't care if you care. Um, but the Stuka is something I'm looking forward to working on. I have the manuals for it. I've been reading on it. And, um, you know, it, it is an interesting aircraft that I'm looking forward to working on after the, the 105. Um, that's pretty much it. So looking around, obviously a lot of hold houses, which is for the time period, you know, good. Um, it's, it's a very interesting different map. I don't know about this brightness thing, and I know people were complaining about it on the forum, so I will have to kind of uh, see if there's a way to fix that. Like, right now, looking out the window seems to be fine, but and it could just be that it's really, really sunny outside. Is that train moving? I yeah, look, it's a moving train. So here's a problem. I don't know. This train's moving backwards, which I know trains can do. But um, a weren't they steam trains back then? I don't know. And uh, well, let's, let's catch up with this train. I think there's some, something fundamentally wrong with this train here. Looks like the caboose is on the back. Uh, if you're a train guy, help me out here. I know there's something wrong with this train. Yeah, that looks like an electric. Let's see if I can get closer to it. Yeah, it looks like an electric. The thing at the top looks like it conducts ele like picks up electricity. Um, why would this be a World War II era? Oh, that, but the caboose is in the front. Ah, that is very weird. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my ADHD kicked in there. So, uh, Normandy, it's here. So it looks like it's all about the sun glare, and if the sun's in the wrong direction, then, you know, you're things look okay but if it's in the wrong direction it looks really weird I hear the wind and uh, it seems like very windy out there I don't know if that's a new sound or or not but uh, so so let me go up a little higher see if we can go out to the ocean Houses look interesting. I mean, they're. I don't know what World War II houses would look like, but I would have to assume that's accurately correct. So it seems like this is a big area here. Now, I'd be interested to see, and again, I haven't really looked too much. Well, let's go north since that's where we have to be. Uh, uh, I'd have to like to see how, if there's any kind of navigational aids or things like that, like we do in a modern map, but. I'm just happy to have someone new to fly, you know. Uh, I think a lot of us really got sick of the Black Caucus because uh, we've been flying it for so many years. And then Nevada came out and, you know, we were flying that for so many years. And now we finally actually got the airports for Nevada that we were promised way, way a long time ago. Um, and now, you know, we have Normandy, which is awesome. So. I think it's a very good step in the right direction. If I had to, um, I don't know if a guess would be the right word, but if I had to choose what 
the headphones to make sure where I'm flying. I don't know where I'm at. Let me just put the... If I had to select a region for the next kind of um, location, I would select, like, the Middle East. Because, you know, you look at all the, like, the F-15, the MiG-21, all that stuff. There's a lot of battles that happen historically out there that would be perfect for that. You know, where the hell? Oh, I'm right there. Okay. So, let's see if I can plant, uh, get a directional thing here. Let's uh, go for that. So, 294. Okay. So, I, I would like to see the Middle East done, but I don't know if that'll happen. Like, well, I, given most other simulators like X-Plane and, um, you know, and us, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, they actually have the whole world. I'd love to see that, but uh, I think that would kind of rely a lot on the community to help create all that, because I think if you look at those, they're very generic maps, and then kind of the co community kind of helps create uh, what we're missing. All right, here we go. Let's get some speed. Uh, let's go cruising. Yeah, it seems like in this direction, put the gold glare shield on. Oh, hold on. Yay. Okay. Glare shield seems a little better. A little too much, I think. But, uh, all right. So if you have no idea, let me know how you like it so far. Um, if you're a big World War II airplane guy, let me know what, what you think so far. Uh, seems like there's lots of open spaces to put enemies down, which is kind of cool. Because I think it would be kind of cool to have, like, big uh, tank battles here. You know, just kind of messing around, see what we do. All right, let me see. Yeah, should be should begin to see no time. Take a look from this seat. I just lock my okay. Yeah, unlock my well, the textures look different on the actual Yeah, it looks like if you're looking at the handle here, it looks glossier. Uh, more shiny. Um, but yeah, looks nice. It's tough to see the actual uh, the lights, because the green lights are on. Plus, I don't know how the target selected, but that's all right. Let's go over here. I just want to get to the ocean. How far am I? Not too far away. So I definitely like the buildings. Again, just first impressions. It looks freaking bright. Uh, maybe I'll have to set be a cloudy day next time. I don't remember Europe being this sunny all the time. Um, could just be me. I think there's something over there. So, overall, buildings look nice. Oh, there's the ocean right there. How big is the channel? I never actually looked at the channel and how big it is. Uh, that is pretty big. So the channel is about 191 miles. Okay. That's another trip we'll have to do sometime. Right now, let's just go to the beach and call it a day. And uh, next time, we'll, we'll have to cross the channel or something. Maybe we'll do some uh, takeoff from an aircraft carrier and land somewhere in England. So we don't have to do the whole crossing. There's something over there. So let's go over there and take a look.
So yeah, 24 hours later. Was it worth it? Eh, not yet. I think it'd be kind of cool when uh, third-party developers actually have kind of missions in here and things like that. I think it'd be nice, but right now it's all right. I just, I haven't kind of seen everything. I'm sure we'll see more as, you know, the days uh, keep coming. I'm sure a lot of reviewers will review it and find cool things in here. I don't know Europe that well, especially during World War II, so I haven't only been to France. Although, the Eiffel Tower was around in World War II, so I wonder if it's over here. I don't know where Paris is in relation to Normandy. But I think if, I think we should have the Eiffel Tower. It's like a biggie. Huh. It's like the cars are pretty in era. Which is cool. Ah, we made it. I don't know where Omaha Beach is and all that stuff. We'll have to look at that stuff later. Let's see if I can just find an airport to, to land at right now. If I just follow the coast, I should be alright. Nobody's sunbathing on the beaches. What's up with that? There's a bird right there. I wonder if they consider that civilian traffic. And yeah, there goes the glare again on the screen. Airports look a little different here, so I don't know if I'm just passing one. No, no. I'm looking at the cars. The cars up, they seem to be nicely modeled. And it does stuff the the area does have like a World War II feel to it. Um, oh look a windmill. That's pretty cool. What if we could shoot that out later? Not right now, we'll do it later. Lots of nice fields. When I see open fields, I think, put tanks in them and let's shoot them out. So, we'll see how that works later. Altitude hold on. Let's see what this building is. It's another factory. So it's not bad looking. I think, again, the, the sun thing is way too much. I'm sure there'll be fixes for it, or we can just make things cloudy. Alright, hold on. 
I need you a moment. I saw something in the field down here. There's the church there. Yeah, there it is. Up ahead. I want to see if that's an actual tractor. Yeah, it is. So let's take a look at some of these vehicles here. By the way, it's it's a joy to fly the gazelle again without actually hurting myself. Last time I flew the gazelle, my right, my left foot was in so much pain afterwards because of my torn ligament. All right, so that's that vehicle it looks pretty cool. A nice little church here. Look at that. All the vehicles look pretty nice. Right, let's go to see tractor. Alright, we didn't get to see the tractor, but <laughs> the tractor's right there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Can I zoom in on it? Alright, I hit, I hit the tree, which I wasn't surprising for my first flight back. Uh, how close I was to the runway? Okay, but it looks pretty cool. So, Normandy, uh, is it worth the 50 bucks? I don't know at this point. If, we were, if you're a World War II fan, I'd say definitely yes. If you're a, a modern jet fan, I'd say probably wait till a sale comes along because they always have them. So, hope you enjoyed it.